Donna, 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 Bat Joey. Oh, hi guys. No, it's it's just me, Joey. Hi. Well, all month long, we are talking about being a super kid. Not because of what you can do, but because of what God can do. Hey, what's the bravest thing that you have ever done? S skydiving? Wow, that is really brave. I've never been skydiving. Well, what else? Rock climbing? Oh yeah, I, I'd, I'd be pretty scared of, of rock climbing too. A any other ones? Oh yeah, going down the slide at the park. Yeah, you need bravery for that too. And, and well, what are some of the things that we can do to help us be brave? Hey, those are some good ideas. Sometimes when we think about what you need courage for, Prayer is probably the last thing on our list. But today, as we hear a true story from the Bible, we're going to hear about Daniel. See, he knew that by praying to God, he would face a pretty big and kind of scary consequence. But that didn't stop Daniel from continuing to do what he knew was right. You're going to see how Daniel chose to put all of his trust and confidence in God. Let's do our bottom line. It goes like this. Who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Can you guys say that with me? Who can help you be brave? That's right, friends. Well, hey, let's go to the clubhouse to do the three things that we do every week. First, we'll work on our memory verse. Then we'll sing and dance and do some awesome worship songs to praise God and focus our attention on him. Then, of course, we're going to hear a true story from God's word, the Bible. And I'll be right here when we get back. See you then. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 
my super kid stretches. That's right, I'm training to be a super kid. Next up, lifting weights. One, two, three. Oh. Ooh. Lifting weights, check. Can't forget my jumping jacks. One, two, three. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Training to be a super kid, are you? You got that right, Ollie. I'm planning on being a super kid, so I'm doing all the right things to train. Following plans is a good thing to do. I know whose plans you can trust. Who? Who? Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I was just fixing this toy for my neighbor. Do you know what animal this is? <laughs> That's right. It's a lion. <laughs> oh, and speaking of lions, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno. Dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible starts with... Daniel! Daniel loved God and prayed to God every day. Daniel knew that he could always trust God. Daniel worked for the king. <laughs> king Darius. King Darius liked Daniel because Daniel was very wise and worked very hard. The king liked Daniel so much, he wanted to put him in charge of everything. But this made some other people very jealous and angry. These angry people did not want the king to put Daniel in charge of everything. So they thought of a way to get Daniel in trouble. They knew that Daniel prayed to God every day. So they decided to trick the king into making a new rule. The new rule said that no one could pray to God. They could only pray to King Darius. And if anyone broke this new rule, they would be thrown into a den of hungry lions. Oh my! Do you know what a lion sounds like? 
Let's all pretend to be lions together. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Oh, very good. Now, the new rule said that people couldn't pray to anyone but the king. But who did Daniel pray to every day? <laughs> yes, Daniel prayed to God every day. Do you think the new rule made Daniel stop praying to God? No, Daniel was brave. He knew he could be strong and courageous because he trusted God. So Daniel prayed to God every day, just as he always did. When the angry people saw Daniel praying to God, they ran off to tell the king. King Darius, they said. Daniel was praying to God and not you. Throw him into the lion's den. <sighs> the king was very sad. He didn't want to throw Daniel into the lion's den, but he had to follow his new rule. So Daniel had to go into the lion's den. But Daniel was brave because he knew he could trust God. King Darius said to Daniel, I hope the God you pray to every day saves you from the lions. All night long, the king worried about Daniel. When it was morning, the king ran to the lion's den and called out, Daniel, did the God you pray to every day save you from the lions? Daniel answered, Yes, king. God sent an angel and shut the mouths of the lions. I'm not hurt at all. Everyone say, Yay, God! Yay, God! <laughs> the king was so happy that he wrote a new rule saying that everyone should pray to the one true God. Daniel trusted God, and God helped Daniel be brave. God can help you be brave too. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Daniel was brave and trusted God. We can be brave and trust God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Daniel was brave because he trusted God would take care of him, even in the lion's den. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I was doing a lot of good things to trying to be a super kid, but the best thing I can do is trust God, because God can help me be brave. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wow. Daniel was brave because he trusted God would take care of him, even in the lion's den. God can help me be brave. When we trust in God's plans, God can help us be brave enough to stand alone and do what God says, even if it means facing scary things. Well, before we say goodbye, let's do our bottom line together one more time. When I say, who can help you be brave, I want you to say, God can help me be brave. Ready? Who can help you be brave? That's right, friends. Okay, let's fold our hands and pray together. God, thank you so much that you give us the strength to be brave and courageous. We pray that we would be just like Daniel in the lion's den, that we would put our trust in you and be confident knowing that you've got us. We love you so much, and we pray all of this in your name. Amen. Amen, friends. Well, this has been so much fun. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.